Hey guys, Windsor Academy here. So, um, first with some introductions. This is the first thing we've started out doing now. It's called the Windsor Academy, as you can see, uh, with the titles and everything. It's basically the rebranding of our stream and our guild, the Bad Omen, here on European Ragnarok Online. I'm James, one of the leaders, together with my wife, Solemnus. Um, so, enough with introductions. Um, this is going to be the knight guide, as in the class, knights, after swordsman. And um, I'm going to be assuming during this guide that you are completely new, you have no seni. Well, I mean, as, as you can see, all the gear I'm wearing is basically purchasable from the vendor. So we're, we're not going to be doing this with any really strong items. I'm going to go through some stats, builds, um, what each skill does, how to utilize it properly, and... Um, well, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Also how skills work, right? Now, starting off with stats. For leveling... Now, granted you're new. Honestly, I prefer agility-based builds. Not only because it's more fun, but it's also faster because you will kill things faster. And you should be taking less damage. And then some people go, But what about high vitality builds to reduce damage? Yeah, um... If something hits you for 400 and you have 100 vitality, it'll hit you for 300, but you hit get hit every single time. Now, if you can dodge it 95% of the time, it will hit you for 500, or so 400, 5 times out of 100. So, in the end, or in the long run, not only will you dodge more, but you will attack faster, which means that they will die faster as well, making gameplay less... It, it also helps with animations, like if you're trying to cast skills, and we're, we're gonna get through that, but... So stats-wise, I've opted to go for 90 agility first, like high vital high agility, some vitality, because it's, it's great to have, and then a balance between strength and dex, because you need that hit rating to be able to hit monsters. Now, we're level 74. Um, the, basically, the reason for this is because I wanted level to make sure I would have one out of everything, so I could show you guys how they work and what they do. So first, we're gonna go and get ourselves a Peko Peko, because, as you can see, speed is not really that great here. Um, so use teleport service, and we'll go to... Apparently, we can't go to Frontera directly, so we're gonna go to Geffen. Geffen? 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 I, I have no idea how people pronounce it, but I say Geffen. Right. So, there's some nice folks here you can chat up, I guess, if you want to. And you got Frontera. Now, if you want the Peko Peko, you don't have to have one. It's not You're not obligated to have one. However, I would recommend it because, well, as you can see, speed-wise, we're, we're not doing too great in terms of walking. So, having said that, while we're... We need to go to the top left in Frontera to get ourselves a Peko Peko. And that's one of those little bird shitty things that you've seen people ride around with. Now, knights can have these. Well, actually, most people can have them if you use an eye shop mount, but knights and royal guards have the exclusive... They can attack from them with their own Peko Pekos. Now, this is not the one from the eye shop. This is the one from a skill. Uh, as you can see here, you have Peko Peko Ride and Cavalier Mastery. If you're gonna ride on a Peko, it's like it's essential that you get this. It might not sound like much, 60% of your attack speed, but trust me, it, it feels like you're gonna walk and attack through mud, yeah? It, it's just it's just not nice. Okay, so we go up here, and there's a Peko Peko Beater dude right here. Honorable Knight. Would you like to rent a Peko Peko? Two and a half thousand cents. This is a one-time price, right? So we pick up one of these. Now we can run like a Kenyan, sort of. Now, um, now that we have this, I'm gonna go through the skills before we go out and I show you what they do. Now, some of these skills are sword, and some of them are spear. Now, th these are main two weapons that you're gonna use, right? So, either you use a two-handed sword. Now, you can use a one-handed sword. I would not recommend it again. A shield is just not worth it while you're leveling. The damage decrease is just... I mean, it's just not worth it. Right, okay. And the other one is a spear. Now, these are all... You see the yellow ones here? Except for this one. All of these are spear only. I mean, spear boomerang... Spear Stab, Brandish Spear, Spear Mastery, <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, since I only have level 1 in most of these, don't don't care about the damage per se, because I just I basically want to show you what they look like and what they do, and then damage will be depending on your strength, on your gear, on your level, 
correct element and so on. So this is basically just a way to show you what they do. Um, thank you. Right. So we're in Prontera now, we're level 74, we're gonna go and test our luck, well not luck, we're gonna go and test our stuff in Geffen. So while we're there, let's just go through all the skills here. And the reason I picked Geffen is because it's just a lot nicer than Prontera. We're gonna sit there while we talk about skills. So, two-handed quicken requires you to have a two-handed sword, obviously. Temporal increases attack speed. Now, what this does, it gives you, I'm fairly certain it gives you 40% attack speed, or at least 30. As you can see, I have 174 attack speed here. Now, if you use an awakening potion, we have 178. And then if we click 200 quicken, we go up to 185. And you get this cool afterglow thing when you run. <laughs> it looks pretty funny. Um, this is a huge deal. If you're planning on using a 200 sword, this is a must have. You, you, you must, ma like the thing is, it says duration, but the thing is, SP is kind of scarce. Man, this microphone, I really need to get a new one. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, SP is kind of scarce. So, I would really recommend maxing it because you get 10 times, obviously you get 10 times the duration, but the SP increase is not tenfold. So, it's definitely worth it. Um, moving on, counter attack. Now this actually, I have to show you what this does. It basically, if done properly, what it does is, it will prevent you from taking damage from the next hit, and instead counter attack with a crit. Now this is a bit of an interesting little ability. It used to be super good. And I'm not saying it's not good anymore, but it's definitely, well, it has seen better days. Let's just put it like that. Having some strange, So we kill a creamy, that's all good fun. Okay, so we're here on this map now. So you see this mantis, right? Now he's about to attack us. So if we do counter attack, and then you see the bar fills up and as soon as you hit him, you click it again. Now, instead of actually hitting us, even though it's at miss, you will counter with a crit. Now it costs SP every time you click it, but crits can't miss, however, this does not really function if you have multiple mobs. Let me show you. Now, let's just say we get three of them. Just for kicks. And then... You have to be facing them as well, by the way. So you have to make sure you're standing in the... So if you spam this... I, I guess it would work. Instead of taking damage. But unless you have great SP leech, as you can see, the... You're not gonna hit all of them at the same time. You're just gonna hit one whichever one of them is attacking you at the time. So let's just get rid of this. So this is like your auto attack as well, right? I mean, as you can see the damage, it's more worth it if a mob is hitting you very hard. Like if there's a mob that's about to hit you for like hundreds and hundreds of HP or even thousands, then yeah, you can use this because it will basically prevent them. You won't take any damage if they try to hit you while the bar is up, like this loading bar here. You have to be facing them though and it costs you five SP, but for AOEing, I really would not. Okay, so that covers counter, counter attack. As you can see, the level has to do with the duration of the bar. You want the bar to be as long as possible because, well, I mean, to give them a chance to try and attack you, even if they're slow attackers. Um, next skills, Pico Pico Ride and Cavalier Mastery. These are essential. You cannot ride a Pico Pico without this. And Cavalier Mastery is linked to this. So if you're having a Pico Pico, you don't have to have a Pico Pico to use all your skills, but I would recommend it. Um, well, actually, I mean, you do from this one, but we'll get to that. But for spear, you should be using a... So spear mostly... Now, if you're using a two-handed sword, you can just ignore this. But if you're using a spear, it's definitely worth it. It might not look like much, but it's actually the type of attack damage that goes straight through armor, so it's actually really good. Um, these are skills that you get for, from quests. One-handed quicken is basically like two-handed quicken except you can use it while so linked with one-handers. Um, charge attack is basically what it sounds like. You charge up to the target from a distance. Uh, it's not that long, it's just not that worth it, and it costs SP and the damage is kind of eh, so. Um, now, bowling bash, this is your bread and butter. Now, 
This skill can be very tricky to use and a lot of people will be very frustrated with it. Now, the damage is going to be pretty bad now that I use it because it's only level 1. But basically what this does is the more enemies you have, they will bounce into each other and take literally tons of damage. But it has a drawback. If you're standing on certain cells on the map, it will miss. Or Well, it won't miss, but it won't do what it's supposed to do. It's called a gutter line. Now, a gutter line... Basically, it's to pre let's just grab three because I don't think I can tank more. Now, in order to use Bowling Bash... Now, I'm obviously missing because my hit is pretty bad. As you can see, I'm on a gutter line right now, I believe. Or I'm just missing. It's not doing much. As you can see, it's just not that great. Now, if we move a little bit... Are we still on gutter line? Well, it does say miss, so who knows. Let's just see, drag them. Basically what this does, it's supposed to hit all the mobs that you have in your target area. Oh wait, the solid petite. We're missing it anyway. Hang on, let me see if we can get something else to... We need these ones, because we can actually hit these. Oh, piss off. <laughs> oh man, to be low level again. The joys. Right, okay, so... Let, let's try this again, shall we? Now, let's just take say you take these, right? Apparently I'm also missing these, somehow. Not sure if that's a gutter line going on now. It's, I mean, it could just be that my hit is really, really bad, which just makes this really, really awkward. Maybe I should pick the better map. Okay, but basically the way that this works is, if you stand on a gutter line, the animation will just be weirded out, and you won't really get what you wanted to do. Now, I'm just gonna gather up some more, see if we can make this work. It might just be this level 1 as well, I'm not... No, it does not appear to be the case. Right. But yeah, basically, so you... <laughs> I'm gonna die. Like, these little buggers look slow, but they, for some reason, can hit you... ...from the most bizarre of places. <laughs> right. Okay. So we got away. Now, moving on. Uh, at least I thought we were moving on. I should have really picked a better map for this. Let's just use one of our mercenaries. Can you kill this, please? Thank you. Right. Now, let's put on a spear as soon as my... Mer as you can see, it's actually using the brandish spear. Now, again, the damage is not really... Right, okay. So, let let's move on. So, that was Bowling Bash. It's a terrible skill, don't you? No, I'm just kidding. Right. So, at spear skills, I'm gonna go through them. The first one in the list is Pierce. Now, Pierce is a great thing to level with if you're playing spear. Okay, you cannot use this with a sword, it says requires spear class weapon. It will hit monsters depending on their size. So, on a small mob, you'll hit them once, medium twice, and large thrice. So, let me show you what this looks like. You can see, this is a medium mob, and it hits them twice. One, two. Now, is this a large one? It is, as you can see. One, two, three. And uh, it does cost some SP. Now, these, I believe, are... Yeah, these are medium. Alright. It's just our little helper here is going to help us out. Cool man, because we're weak. We're really, really weak. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, spear stab. Uh, I mean, as far as I remember, it's like a PvP sort of thing. Like, you can... You can range stuff with it and push them back. I mean, I, I wouldn't really see the applications for leveling for this, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there will find a use for it for leveling, I don't know. But yeah, that's basically Spear Stab. Not, not that exciting. Um, it pushes them back, consumes 9 SP, does some damage. Then we have Spear Boomerang. Apparently a spear can be a boomerang, who would have thought? And it's, um well, apparently we're... It's, well, as you can see, it, um, let's see if we can find one more where we don't get wrecked. Now, I only have it level 1, so the range is kind of bad, but, yeah, it basically throws your spear, theoretically, I guess, that's the idea here. Spear boomerang, yeah. As you can see, plus 11 range and plus 50% attack at max level. Um, I guess if you're farming low-level ranged mobs, you could, it's not that bad, but, I, I, again, I would probably just go pierce, if it, unless it's a small mob, I guess. 
Now for the last one, we have Brandish Spear. Now Brandish Spear is kind of tricky. Um, let's see if we can find the mercenary. He's using that. Now Brandish Spear basically works in a very strange way. Um, because it basically, it charges up from you and then it goes like this. It, it basically goes 1, 3, 5, 7. So it's basically like a triangle in front of you like, and you are the tip of the triangle. Um, let me show you. Let's just get rid of this guy first. Now this is a mercenary. We can do a segment about those later. Now I'm not going to be able to kill anything using this, but I want to show you. So basically, the range is actually pretty good. So if you... Oh god, we're going to get ourselves killed. Yeah, as you can see, it hits in a cone sort of thing in front of you. Yeah, there we go. We hit all of them. However, if you have, the, if you have bad positioning, it will not. It does some damage and there's an effect. Like there's a... Um, an animation right so and it also knocks them back if you hit them a bit this is spammable as you can see now obviously you should not be where I am because I am way out of my depth here and I'm about to die <laughs> right so that's brandish spear anyway um, now granted this is with the worst possible gear you could have like basically this is with the gear that you could buy in the shop I just want to show you what the skills do. Um, in terms of gear wise and builds, so there's a sword build for auto attacking, bowling, bashing sort of thing, and there's a spear build for you can brandish spear, you can counter attack works with both weapons by the way. You don't need a specific weapon for that. Um, armor wise, try to find stuff with health, strength, like you, you scale of strength for damage. We do not need intelligence at all, so skip out on that. But yeah, dexterity, you should probably have more than I have right now at level 75. Um, maybe cut down on agility a little bit. Uh, if you're gonna auto attack, don't use a spear. Right. Now, pierce is dependent on your attack speed as well. The same thing goes for bowling bash, by the way. It's worth noting that your animations are based off of your attack speed, okay? So if you have a if you have one agility and you plan on spamming bowling bash, not really going to work because it's going to be super slow because the way that the game works is basically that animations are tied to your attack speed, which is why for example, um, there are certain casters that will get high agility or use attack speed potions just to make their character animation better, which will make them cast more per second. Um, I think that pretty much covers the knight class. It, it's not super exciting yet. It's definitely, I love this class. I would recommend, if you're gonna have a spear, you, you, you need a pick a pick for brandish. Especially since it gives you extra damage as well. Otherwise, if you want to level with sword, 200 quicken is a must have. Just make sure you have level 10, 200 sword mastery. Okay. And also you need level 10 bash for bowling bash, by the way. But I did mention that in the sortie guide. Um, I think that wraps it up. So, this is the first episode of the Windsor Academy. And thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one, I hope, if you enjoy this. Now, we will be doing a segment on every single class. We have the first classes already. This is the first one of the second classes. So... There will be third classes and trans classes as well, and extended classes. It takes some time though because I need to level up each character to get one point in each skill to be able to show you what they do because I wouldn't use all of these skills normally at the same time. Like if you go swordy, you probably wouldn't have brandish spear and vice versa. Anyways, so um, again, thank you for all your support and thank you for watching us. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.